Uh, hey guys, you're looking for a size comparison for the um, uh, the old tactical scale versus the uh, current blitz scale of uh, the weapons. So uh, what I've got here is uh, this is the tactical scale light auto cannon from uh, a Jaeger, and this is just a generic uh, light auto cannon. Uh, the reason they don't have handles, I cut them off so they can be magnetized. Uh, to make the models more modular, but this should give you an idea of the difference of scale. Um, you can definitely see that the uh, the new one is much more detailed. It's thicker. It's also holding up a whole lot better. The old one um, is very very thin. I'll put this on its side. Maybe you guys can get an idea. So you can see kind of how thin the old one was, and then you can see. Uh, that's how thick the new one is. Uh, so it gives you an idea the real difference of what you're looking at. Um, so you can see that uh, I got a uh, that's the paratrooper gun. Uh, this is a uh, medium auto cannon. Again, kind of giving you an idea of the scale. So do it this way here so you can kind of see them lined up and then we'll have this one over here for scale so you can kind of see that uh, got a rapid fire bazooka I don't know what the hell it's called now I think it's just a light bazooka with split and what else we got here I got uh, deployable pack gun I'm running out of room on my counter here that's the deployable pack gun. And the last thing I've got is we got a frag cannon. It's a little warped. It's totally okay. There you go. So that's a frag cannon. That should give you an idea of uh give you guys an idea of the scaling. Hope that helps.